I'm going to do the this one. Welcome YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. What's up? Welcome to My Favorite Groomer, where I groom aggressive, senior, disabled dogs here in Texas and some major cities like New York, Honolulu, Los Angeles, and in Florida. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you guys. If you like the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. What's up, MO? Got you, baby. All right, let's get let's get situated here. All right, come here, baby. Come over here. Come here, baby girl. Cool. Let's go. How's everyone doing today? Where are you writing from? And what time of day is it where you're at? And by the way, what's your favorite color? Let me know what's your favorite color. We'll be grooming Hennessy. We call her Henny. She's about a three-year-old Shih Tzu female. I've been grooming her since August 31st, 2021. It's currently May 2022. So within the time frame of grooming her every two months, eight, nine, eight, nine, nine, 10, 11. So every two months, I've been grooming this Shih Tzu. And I'll tell you what, I honestly think she's been doing really good each time we bring her in. I got you guys closer today. I hear you. What's up, you two? Where are you writing from? What time of day is it? And also, what's your favorite color, baby? What's up, TikTok? Thanks a lot for being here. I really appreciate you. Be sure to hit the follow so you'll get the live feeds and you don't lose me because sometimes, like when I'm watching TikTok, sometimes it's really hard to figure out who that was because they just they went away really fast. Those of you guys watching, I groom aggressive senior disabled dogs and with your help, if you share and like and support what I do just by watching and sharing and talking about it, then maybe I can help people that are in your neighborhood, in the city, nearest, the biggest city close to you. And I cannot do it alone. So let's do it together. It's all about the animal, okay? This Shih Tzu is so cute. But I'm gonna tell you right now, she was just not happy and I got it on record. So if you wanna check her out in the next week, I'll put her on my YouTube channel, how she was behaving in my lobby and how she was behaving in the parking lot. She has had at least a 20 minute walk outside today. So when you have and are working with an aggressive animal, I wanna make sure you understand, please walk your pet for exercise, for your safety and for others. And when you're about to go to the veterinarian or you're about to go in for grooming, walk your pet outside for 15 to 20 minutes if their health allows it. Why? Because when they've been snuggling with you, in bed with you, kissing you, loving you, when they leave, they are a little bit different, okay? They are a little bit different with strangers touching them. And they do better when they have had some exercise. I don't know about you, but when you get mad about something, you're like, oh, I got anxiety, I gotta go this and that. If you work out, if you do some jumping jacks, if you do some running, if you do some walking, I promise you, you are gonna feel better about the thing that you need to go do. So a little secret, if you have anxieties, get up and do some exercises. Oh, you don't want to go to the gym. Okay, don't go to the gym. Do some exercises in your living room. Do you feel me? You do not have to go to the gym. You can't walk your dog. It's raining right now. We, God blessed us with this awesome day overcast. That means it's less than 100 degrees in Texas. And she is loving the fact that I'm talking right now. This dog is getting comfortable with me. In the lobby, for the first time ever, she did not bark at me. It was, the pet parent was like, drop the leash, Dee Dee. I was like, what? She said, she's not barking. I was like, she's not. 
I dropped myself to the ground, sat Indian style, and was like, what's up, girl? What's up, honey? My point is, please, exercise will help you, me, and your animals. Don't forget that. It's the key to grooming an aggressive dog. Yes, I require it. If I've learned in 20 years of grooming that I have to make some requirements happen to those aggressive dogs that I groom, and guess what one of them is? You're right, it's exercise. When you get here to my salon, I don't care what you tell me, I'm gonna tell you to walk your dog. And I have had people get very upset that I've required that and they've left. Goodbye. You need to be on the same page as me if I'm willing to put myself in harm's way to accomplish a groom without sedation because your dog has been injured, traumatized, or has been picked up at a puppy mill with trauma in its mind. If I am willing to stand there and get bit with the possibility of getting bit, the least you can do for me once every two months is walk your dog. Am I right? Now, I wish we could get them to walk the cats, right? Yeah, that's not happening, okay? So let's get started with the groom. I like to cover a few things, give you guys some facts, let you know where I'm at, let you know who I am, let you know that I will come to you. You got to help me afford the ticket and the hotel, and that's all I ask. And if you can do that, I will come to your state and city. Do you hear me? I'm not trying to profit on a groom. I ain't even trying to make money. I'm just trying to pay bills so I can come to you. If you can help me, share, follow, like, I would really appreciate it. Now let's groom this aggressive Shih Tzu, which I think today we became family because she did not bark at me. MP, those of you guys doing hearts, hearts, hearts on TikTok, thank you for the hearts, thank you for the love, woo woo, I cannot deal without you guys, okay, now, you guys ready for this, are you ready for this, Henny, okay, first thing first, I won't pick her up, because I know her really well, without putting a cone head on, we make this one, we sell this one, we make, we sell both, we make this one though, here in the United States, if you want to support us, Come over to MyFavoriteGroomer.com and buy what we make for animals here in the, st in the United States. Such a big deal. If we can support each other, U.S. jobs, U.S. economy, I make a lot of stuff with Betty in Florida. Please come support MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Oh, you know I'm about to put this on? Man, don't prove me wrong. You know what I'm doing? Boy, she's shying away. She's like, oh, no. She's like, oh, no. You can't put that on me. I don't know. She's going to let me put it on. Come here, baby. Come here. I gotta pick you up somehow. Come here. Let's get some. Let's get some backup plans going here. Come on. Come, baby girl. Come here. Come here. You're good. You're good. You're good. Don't get mad at me. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Assistant, can you hand me that other one? Okay, one more here. This one's a, this one's, I can grab and reach. Good girl. Good, good girl. Good girl. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Let's get that one out of the way there. Yeah, that one's not working. Right now, hold on. Don't worry about that. Good girl. Yeah, you're not mad at me yet? Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Wow, you let me put that on? Oh my gosh, do you know I'm not going to hurt you? Yay. Yay, good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. Okay, you're sitting, you're touching me? Okay. I'm going to pick you up. Ready? Up, up, up. Good girl. I want to say good girl. That was a tough stuff and she did not even growl at me. Breathing, everyone breathe. Good girl, hi, hi. Can I get this on? This groom loop cover, oh my gosh. It took 20 years for me to figure out what we needed as groomers to go around the groom loop to stop using just a simple rope around the neck. Yep, every time I groomed, I heard you and I heard myself say how much we hated it. But I couldn't figure out what we needed and now look, it's tight, but she can still slip out of it a tiny bit if she really wanted to. 
but this would allow her not to just have a rope around her neck. Now, isn't that freaking awesome? We are making them in Florida. If you want one, please support our business at myfavoritegroomer.com. TikTok, are you guys good? You guys, got, you guys good out there? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you guys good? All right, well, as people say, I talk too much, but I hope that I talk enough for you to grab some things and learn some things and do some things that teach you some things. And how can you not, it's like going to a concert but the guy doesn't sing. How can you be live grooming and not talk? I mean, I just never even heard, do you know what I'm talking about? How can you be live grooming and not talk, for real? So we gotta tell those people that tell Dee Dee you talk too much, we gotta just tell them, just move on, right? Just move on, you can push mute. Push mute, baby. Oh wait, you don't know where the mute button is? Oh my gosh, it's one of those commercials. You know what I'm saying. All right, I have a face mask on to protect my, my lungs from the hair that I'm about to shave off. I also have gloves on to protect my hands from getting a splinter. Watch my favorite groomer splinter movie, show, video. You know, I dug that splinter out six months after I dug the first part of it out and I would never do that again if I'm wearing gloves. Ever, like ever, never. We're gonna do a tan all over, why? Yes, it's a shave down. I'm grooming an aggressive dog that doesn't like people. I'm going to take it as close as I can so she doesn't have to come back for two months. All right? I suggest you do the same thing. When you're working with an aggressive dog, don't make them come every month. Don't even make them come every two months if they can't afford it. We're just gonna take it off. But every two months means that the dog usually is not matted. The pet parent that's usually not able to touch their dog. Can you believe owning, how, what would you do? What would you do if you owned a dog you could not touch? Would you complain to someone else about their dog? You don't know the story. What would you do, write it in the comments. What would you do if you owned a dog you could not brush, touch, kiss on the face. How about this? Somebody hurt that dog to make that dog do that after the dog turned three or four years old. What are you going to do? What if someone did that to your dog? Are you going to get mad at the groomer? Me, the one that comes in and helps? Or are you going to get mad? What are you going to do? A lot of people write on the comments, you know, they'll say things like, you shouldn't own a dog like that. It's like having a child and the child gets assaulted, changes, mentally changes, and then saying, someone saying, you should not have a child like that. It wasn't my choice. Trauma happened. We hope to God you can find someone to teach that child, right, in a classroom environment that can now tolerate the problems that child has because of the traumatic experience he or she went through. Can you imagine what our children are going through? Yes, I have the dog up Sam, but I'm going to let her sit. I'm going to let her enjoy sitting while I work around everything else right now. And that's okay. I don't need to get mad or frustrated. I just need to work around the problem of sitting until I get to where I need to do the standing, okay? We don't need to fight through it. No reason to have impatience. Unless you're in a hurry, and if you're in a hurry and you're working with aggressive animals, I need you to reevaluate. Set those aggressive animals aside, make them come back during a time where it's quieter and more one-on-one, -on -one, and it's okay. Give some love here.
for me to do this, we have definitely come a long way. And I love it. Very rarely do I see a dog change and become better so quickly, but we only can get here because the pet parent has come religiously for two months. Two months. Every two months since I met them. If you want to wait and come every six months, once a year, every two years, it ain't gonna work. You cannot expect that animal to start trusting anybody after six months or one year. Now, if you happen to have been going somewhere where injury has been happening every time, they'll never trust. They're just, they're just breaking down within, and it will be harder when you find someone that can do the work without the in injury. You need to read your animal's body language when you get home or in the car, when you pick up and see. Look at stuff. Do some inspecting. It's okay. If it's not okay, you're not at the right place. Because I let the client sit, wait, and watch, if I get done and that client still is not confident about the services I provide, and they want to sit in my lobby and go, like, I really need to look at everything you did, I say, here's the table. Put your dog on that table and do an inspection. It should be transparent between you and your uh, groomer, you and your doctor, you and your best friend. If your best friend is your best friend at all, it should be transparent. There should be no lies. There should be no manipulation. Am I right? Can I, get, can I get some opinions? If you had a best friend lying to you, right? Which I've had to go, I've, I actually had to go through some losses on some best friends recently. I had to reevaluate what the heck my best friend was really being a best friend or not. Ain't that the truth? Anybody else? Are you sure we've picked our friends, our boyfriends, our spouses, our most intimate people, have we picked the right people to be in our life? Transparency. I'm going to change my blade just because I'm sure it's not hot, but I want to change my blade. I want to say this one is actually going to be the dull one from yesterday. Let's try it again. Tin blade. Change out. YouTube, are you guys getting a little bit better view today? Because I kind of removed you guys closer. Can I get some thankses? This blade, I do not like it. I want you guys to know this blade here is a brand new ceramic edge. Okay, brand new ceramic edge. I talk about this all the time. A very old, a very old and rust, not rusted, but dark. A very old and dark flip side of the blade. Unfortunately, this is too old. And the new ceramic edge is not allowing it to be like butter. So this is, I've got to retire this back end blade, okay? This back part of the blade, I have to retire this. So I'm gonna pull out that ceramic blade, it's sharp as a knife, and I'm gonna use it somewhere else. But this piece of metal, it's over. It's been sharpened probably since 2010 or seven. It's, it's done, this is shot. So let's go ahead and let's put this somewhere else so I don't keep pulling it out. Flip over to another template. Here we go. Is she not doing great? Can I get a thumbs up here? Is she not doing freaking awesome? Actually, let's, everyone yesterday we were saying good boy, right? Let's say good girl. Everyone say good girl. Everyone say it under your breath. Good girl. Oh, yeah, see, that's nice, right? That's nice right there. I got you right here. By the way, I'm using a Dog Up Plus to help her assist standing up while I walk, while I work with her rear end. You can find a Dog Up Plus at dogupstand.com. It is a USA-made product. 
and I am super proud to support the United States and jobs of the United States. I hope you're proud too when you order it. She don't like that? It's actually pouring right now. That could also be a reason why she's got a little bit of movement, okay? It is pouring. If you don't know if it's pouring, check the AccuWeather. There's a plug for AccuWeather. Check the AccuWeather right now and go like, oh, in Fort Worth, Texas, is there some serious thunderstorms? That would be a yes. Pet parent, if you're outside, um, don't, we're not, I'm not gonna go run out there and let you come in in the pouring rain. Let it pass. This blade's not doing all that great either. Hold on, baby girl. You want to rest your leg up there? Okay. Thanks for joining us here at My Favorite Groomer. Be sure to check all the videos I have on Snapchat. This is a dull way. We're going to change it out. And we got to get this one sharp and done deal. Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Come join us everywhere. But you're going to see the most and the best of the best on YouTube. Wow, is she not doing great for that? Oh yeah. Everyone say, good girl. If you haven't noticed, I skip around to change the subject. She's not complaining, but I don't want her to. I want her to just go with the flow. So I don't stay somewhere too long before I kind of flip over and do the back, go back to the front. It's takes a little longer to do that, but I keep changing the subject. So she cannot like learn what I'm doing. I keep her on the edge of making that decision of like, oh, is she going to the left or the right? Is she coming back? Is she coming to the front? Subject. Change the subject. All right, Annie, change the subject. All right, girl. Okay, you want to sit down. Okay, I got you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for following. Give me some of them hearts out there. Are you guys happy to be watching? We're live grooming an aggressive Shih Tzu. She's come around, though. Is she not doing better, you guys? You too. Is she not doing better? I think she's doing better than ever, actually. Okay, let me, uh, let me do this. Let me bring you guys over here.
Grab that mini, let's see if it'll help me just a tiny bit. Did it help? She still sat down here. Up, up, up. Penny, Penny, come on, girl. Come here, stand up for me. Let's get the plus back in there. Obviously, that's not going to work. Sometimes it does. Make sure you measure. Measure before you buy. Go up. I honestly do not re Oh, I have the file. Let me check. I always want to make sure on the tail. I had one incident where I was wondering, should I have shaved the tail? And that was in the very beginning of my career. And I want to say I always double check to shave the tail. Da, 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 da. Let me read here. There's so many notes. Seven tail, see? So let's do a seven blade tail. Let's get that knocked out. Let's change our blade. Seven blade tail, okay? So she, I can just let her sit then. We'll put the bone tip right there under her chest. There you go. She wants to put both feet on the ground, on the table. So let's let her, let help her do it. I don't need to make her do what I need her to do, but I need her to do some things. So I'm gonna help her, help me get that position I need, but I don't need to get upset or, or mad that she's not doing I need to help her help me get, get there. Got a little bit of that static. Make sure you got your best spray bottle. We'll do a little bit of water here. Water on your fingertips. The hair is just sticking to me everywhere. Shoot, just bathe yourself in some water, people. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself sprayed up. Ready, go up. Move the tail with your finger. Come down, good girl. These dew claws, she's got rear dew claws. Don't let me forget to do those. And then her pads are really grown out. For two months, man. You got, who else has dogs out there with some serious pad hair? Pad, pad hair on the bottom of their feet. That's what I'm talking about. Pad hair, people. Everyone say, good girl. She's doing so good. That parent's watching right now. Isn't, isn't this awesome, Emma? Uh, You know, I have a question. Can I ask you guys a question? You guys want me to ask you guys? I love question games. Can I ask you guys a question? You guys want to answer a question for me? Oh, look at all that hair coming down. Yeah, baby. How you like that, YouTube? Is that good? <laughs> Who wants me, who, not me, but, come on, you guys want to, you guys want a question? You guys, I got a question for you, okay? I started thinking just now, when I saw the comment yesterday, like, the question, the comment was you talk too much, and I get that a lot, right? But I'm also a teacher, so I want you to hear everything I can give you because you have minutes. I, I get you for an hour when I'm live, at least an hour, and I got an hour to groom this dog, but teach you. Maybe another groomer, maybe a pet owner. So the, this comment says, you talk too much. The question is, hear me out. The question is, 
when you take your dog to the groomer, okay, when you take your dog to the groomer, how long do you leave your dog for? YouTube, answer. Facebook, answer. TikTok, answer. How long do you drop your dog off for, for grooming? In hours, because it should not be minutes. Hours. Tell me hours. Now, we're going to do the worst of the worst. B. Why is it the worst of the worst? Because that's usually why they have to come to me in the first place. So we're going to get this set up while you guys answer. How long do you have to drop your dog off for for grooming? Go. Go. Answer. Go. I want to read you guys. YouTube, you're not answering. Go. How long do you got to drop your dog off for grooming? Thank you, TikTok. Yeah, baby, you got this. When I come back, when we get done with the feet, boom, we'll come back and talk about it. Here we go. Lower the table. Don't hurt your back. Look at all that pad here. Look at that. One paw. Next. Same thing, this. Look at that. Look at this thing right here. You know what this is? This was in her pad, and it is huge. This thing is a burr in her pad, because right now, you know, our yards are burring up. You know what I'm saying? I shave big dogs. I shave anything. Ask, ask the community. <laughs> Look at this. It's hard to tell what's in something unless you're shaving it out. But we're asking, I want you to know, I'm going to do the pads, but how many minutes or hours do you leave your pets when you go take them to be groomed? Go ahead. There's a reason. I'm going to tell you why I'm asking that. I got my 40 blade, by the way. And I just see a little bit of something there, so I'm going to take it with my fingertips. Now I'm going to go back to my pad. I'm sorry, I know you don't like it. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay, girl. I got you right here. Nanny. 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 Nanny for Hennessy. Everyone say, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Some love. Hi, baby girl. Hey, with your cute little face. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hold on, honey. You got this. Everyone say, good girl. She's doing so good. Okay. Good girl. Today was the first day she was in my lobby and she did not bark at me. 
She did not bark at me. It's a big, big day. I looked at the pet parent and I said, did we just become family? Did she just let me in? Real matted in there. Take a break. Take a quick break. Real matted in there, peeps. This bar on your way, YouTube? That bar is constantly in the way. Matted, take a break. Breathe. Everyone, breathe. Breathe. You notice she pulls back and she, she wants to fight and I let go. It's painful, okay? It is painful. Ready? Up. Good girl. I want to say good girl. Say it under your breath. Good girl. Come on, hair. Take a break. Love. It's still raining right now. You can hear it tapping the ceiling, or the roof. Who loves rain? I love the rain. Up. Uh, pet parent, are you out there? Do you want to come in? This is a good time because the rain is a slower. A one, two, I'm waiting for a comment. Three, four, five, I'm moving forward. Like that booger needs a booger, bugger, B U G G E R, booger. That booger needs to come out. All right. Might as well go ahead and do the toenail trim, right, before we take the cone head. Yeah, we got to do all that before we take the cone head off, all right? Here we go. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> make sure. Come here. Good girl. I want to say good girl. Good girl. Go up. That's good right there, right? Change back to a 10 blade. I don't know why you can't send like double tap the screen. Hmm? Maybe? Can anybody help her? TikTok? Can you guys help her? Him or her? Oh, it's matted. Gonna take it out like that. Good girl. Good girl for letting me get that. Good girl. Good girl. Good 
girl. I won't say good girl. You're not liking that. It's okay. Let me see. Let me see a little bit in here. Matted. Let me get that. Good girl. Good girl. A little bit more. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Yes, ma'am. Let me say good girl. I know. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry. I gotta be that person, right? I gotta be that person, right? I'm like, did I pull up that blade? No, I'll put it right. I'll put it up. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Good girl. Put up for me. You don't like that? You're getting grumpy? Okay, I'm running out of time now. No taken. The point of my question is that I may talk, but I am done with the dog during its appointment time. I do not keep your dog for five, six, seven, eight hours. I keep you, the owner, and the dog for the appointment time. I don't rush, I talk, I, it, pace, it helps me pace out my work. It's an aggressive dog, it's been through a lot. I don't rush the dog. I've learned after 20 years to pace myself instead of trying to do quantity grooming. And even then, I would, I, would, I would do quantity grooming, but not the way a place that can do has a lot of groomers. I still try to always provide a quiet environment, a place for the dog to, to hear what's going on, not be next to a, no offense, German shepherd barking for four hours. This little girl sitting next to a German shepherd barking for four hours would be traumatic in the long run. So I chit chat, I talk a little bit. When I am by myself and not live streaming, which is many, many, many grooms, I will take this one off first. I go faster, but when you're live, just like a concert, no, it's not gonna be silent. I wanna educate. If I, cause I can't groom every aggressive dog in the world, and I would if I could, if you help me get there, I will. But I need to tell you what I'm doing so that you and your groomer or you and the vet tech that's helping you in that situation might be able to come back and learn from what I'm doing for free. So now what I'm gonna do is do as much as I can. Oh, her head's already come. Oh goodness, be ready. It's all about to slip right off. She's not truly fighting me, but don't think that you can take the animal out of the animal. So, is that really going to stick out too? Let me see here. Yeah, that's great. Oh, she probably, this is a, is that a medium? Let's see. She probably needs a small. You need a small one. That's exactly right. Me and Betty were talking this morning, and you actually need a small loop. Groom loop cover. That's what I need to do for you. Is you need a small one, girl. All right, now we put ourselves into a little bit of aggressive situation here. So make sure you have a backup plan. Let's get our backup plan intact. Okay, so I have these ready to go. Got this. Let's get the 24 inch groom loop. Always have a backup plan in life. Okay? Always have a backup plan. There we go. This is okay. Just raise the tail. Be ready. Watch yourself. You cannot take the animal out of the animal. I just figured that out the other day through my friend who was watching me, and he said that, and I thought, you know, you are so right. What are we thinking? That's the exact way I need to be explaining it. No, all dogs are not aggressive, but you can't take the animal out of the animal. What does that mean? Well, the animal has teeth and the animal at any time could bite you just because. They don't need to give you a warning or ask permission. So if she needs a small one, why don't we try a small one, right? 
So I need, sorry, MO, give me some time here. I know you guys are having fun out there watching, but let me mess around here so we can get this stuff right. So let's get our small groom loop cover. We're going to put it over the 18 inch groom loop, which you can get at myfavoritegroomer.com. And uh, I think I want to say I need to take this off. So don't get upset with me, please. Let me click on this. I don't get upset. Is that, that's your leash and collar. I'm going to take that off. Yep, we'll put that right back on, honey. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry about a thing, girl. Here's my backup plan, okay? Does everyone see all that? Everyone see all that? Can I get a thumbs up? Did you guys see all that? <laughs> thumbs up. Do you see it? Did you see what I just did? Did everyone catch that? Okay, great. Let's press forward. Now, I like to call this thing my aggressive face tool. You can get it at myfavoritegroomer.com or you can get one somewhere near you. I know you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Hi, baby girl. And I, I need, uh, what else I need? We're missing something. Y'all didn't tell me now. I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I'm working with her face with no cone head. Okay? I need to put this on for control, just in case. Now, foreguard. I like to always start their head and face with the foreguard. Gives me a, an idea of how upset they are today. So if she bites or jabs at the foreguard, I have a little protection around it so she doesn't hurt herself. Okay? Are you okay? Oh yeah, she's cute. She's got a cute face, right? You got a cute face, Penny? You got a cute face? They don't know. Go watch her first video, myfavoritegroomer.com. Go to, or go to YouTube, type in My Favorite Groomer, and type in Shih Tzu. Check her out. Check her first video out. All right, we're done feeling her out. I'm going to take off my guard. We're going to take off a bunch of this mask, starting with back here. Lick of the tongue, that's a warning, like I don't like it, so we stop. Think, let me think it through, let me think it through. two months. She comes every two months. Don't worry. It will grow back just as cute as it looks when she came in. Okay? Don't worry. But if we don't do it, in two months, she will really not be able to see. Alrighty? I'm going to change my blade. I'm checking the heat. Nice and quick. Do you see what I did? I changed the subject. I talked to you guys. I went back and forth, and then I took out the entire nose area. Yes. Say yes. <laughs> Remember, you got to learn them tricks, baby. Learn them tricks. Everyone say, good girl. Look at her. She's got a really got a good eye on me now. Y'all don't know. 
Y'all don't know, she got a really good, good eye on me now. I was like, oh, oh, Dee Dee got tricked? She said, yes, ma'am. You don't like that? I need to get in there. Let me see if I can get in like deeper with this um, four guard on the bottom. It's not going as, quite as fast as I like. You're gonna bite it now? You're gonna bite the clipper now? If you're gonna bite the clipper now, I need to be ready for you. Are we are we at that point of our like right now? Are we right right there with that? You're gonna start biting the clipper now? If you are, like holla at me. So let me know. Are you gonna bite the clipper now? Yeah, may, it, may, I can hear the answer. Do you guys hear the answer? The answer is maybe. Alright, we'll check our heat. Change the subject. Yeah, okay, do you see what just happened? She was like, what? Yeah, I need to take off the, the Drew Loop cover. Uh, I need to really get in there and I keep bumping it. So here we go with switch out. We're gonna go straight to Groom Loop only. We're gonna go here. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna keep our backup plan in case she flies at me. We're gonna take this off now. This is around that, this is around that. This is around that. Okay, you can lose her right here, Dee Dee. She's doing all that on purpose. Work with me here. Okay, there you go. Nice little thing there. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfecto. Man, so many, you gotta do so many things. This definitely exercises your brain, okay, people? If you ever had to exercise your brain, this is it. <laughs> Let's change the subject and go to this neckline right here. No, not, not you, me, me. I'm gonna go to the neckline. You, you look at yourself right there on that. Right there, there you go. That's, oh, are you getting upset with that, seeing yourself? Oh, you should, mm -mm, that's you right there. Okay, that's, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm gonna do that. She sees herself. Did you let some gas out? Did you did you let some gas out for real? Okay, well, I can smell it through my mask, okay? I see, what are you, are you pooping? No, 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 no. You just wait a second, wait a second.
Okay, we're taking a break. Pet parent, come, come back here, pet parent. Wait. Pet parent! Oh, I'm gonna let you take her outside real quick. She's, I think she's gonna go right now. Here. Yeah, 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 her. Here. Wait, wait, she's all yours. She's all yours. Okay. Go outside, go poo, okay? You guys go outside. You can pick her up. Okay, good, great. Take this off. Go potty, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Thank you. Great time. That's a good time to take a break. Why? We don't want to clean it up. I'm sorry. We don't want to clean it up here. Diseases like worms, parvo, COVID, they can all be in feces. It's best they do it outside, okay? It is definitely best that they do that outside. So even if she doesn't go poo, at least we gave her the opportunity to try. Why? She drove an hour to get here. Even though they went on a walk, you just never know. Still, it's an hour drive, okay? So, of course, an aggressive dog, I'm like, Pet parent, let's go, get in here, now, hands on. You know, the old drill sergeant just jumped right into effect. All right, TikTok, what's up, TikTok? Thanks for joining me, I appreciate you guys being here. Woo, are you guys having fun? Let me know, are you guys having fun? Don't forget to follow, sub, like, check us out on YouTube. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Are you guys having fun though? For real? Watching me work, sweating my buns off. I'm starting to think there are sweat glands throughout my entire body, like in places that you didn't think had sweat glands. Okay? What's up YouTube, Facebook, Instagram? How are you today? Thanks for joining in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I appreciate ya. Are you having fun? <laughs> While the pet takes a break, you let me know. Are you guys having fun? Woo! Let's do this. Yeah. How adorable. Been holding my breath. <laughs> oh, you must have just got here because I think I told all y'all to, to breathe, right? Like at least three times. I'll be telling myself. I got to tell myself to breathe, let alone what you guys might be seeing behind the screen. You know what I mean? I am located in Fort Worth, Texas, but I will come to you if you help me pay for my flight and hotel. So just if you need me, help share, follow, and like, and I will come to you. Help me share and spread the word. Be sure to hit the follow, and thank you so much for being a part of my favorite Brewer family. I appreciate seeing how you do an aggressive dog. Thank you so much. Please check out some of the best aggressive dog grooming on my YouTube channel, My Favorite Brewer on YouTube. Do it, baby! All right. Does anybody else say prayers before they start grooming for the day? Does anybody else do that? Is anybody, anybody a groomer? Who's a groomer in the house? Okay, all these questions. First question, do you guys pray before you groom? The next question is, any groomers out there? Is there any groomers out there? Say yes or no. Yes, I pray. Yes, I'm a groomer. Go. Go. What's up, Grandma Shell? Good to see you, baby. Thanks for your orders and your love. What's up, Sherry? Appreciate your donations and love too. She books it for an hour, but it's usually done in 45 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. What up? Audio not sync. That's a weird thing, but maybe it's on my side or maybe it's the internet. You know. Today's view is great, Sherry. I'll try to keep the cameras in that view for you guys on YouTube. You're a groomer. What's up, groomer? Groomers should help each other out. We should empower each other. We should not backstab and we should be trustable and friendly. If you need that kind of groomer friend, I will be there for you. That's what I believe in. Yes, yes, pray before you groom. I think if you pray before you groom, it will help you be a better groomer. That's, of course, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, every time, Grandma Shell. Every time. And sometimes when I've heard the story behind an animal that I'm about to groom, because I mean, we do a, a three to four hour booking process sometimes because it's really hard to get off the phone with these clients. I love them and I want to hear everything about their pet and take notes. And I, I gotta say, sometimes when I have, and we're waiting for the dog, okay? We're waiting for the dog to take a break. I'm not here just trying to waste your time. Um, when I have a really tough case, I might talk to God for hours and hours and hours the day before the groom 
up until the groom and then still be on my knees saying, God, protect us both. You know? I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. If you're on this earth, you are not perfect. <laughs> but you can only try your best. Am I right? You got to try your best. Thanks for following. Thank you so much. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. All right, here we go. I think I'm out of the door. Unfortunately, I have to get in there. I can do the best I can everywhere else, but the face, I, I still got to get in there with this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mm-hmm. You keep looking away, keep moving around, trying to avoid confrontation. I get it. I get that. I get that. Let's see. I really got to do some work here. And uh, I mean, that's not helping. Like, there's nothing back there. You and I both know there's nothing back there. You and I both know that. See, see, you're just you. You. I know what you're doing. I do know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I. <laughs> you guys see this? You guys see what she's doing? <laughs> there's no one back there. We've been in this room for an hour. There's no one back there. She's trying to. You know what she's doing, right? You know what she's doing. There's no one back there. She's playing games. And so can I. I can play some games too. A little tap, tap, spin around. Tap, tap, spin around. Right? I, there's no one back there behind me either. Okay? There's no one back there behind me either. Okay? Yeah. There's no one back there. So I can do the spin around, tap, tap. You know, I know how to dance, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I know how to dance. It might have been a minute, but I, I, I know how to dance. Hey, there's no one back there. No, no, you, you don't like this? Okay, I'll move that. Is that what it is? There's no one back there. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, there's no one back there. Don't jerky jerk, okay? Let me see. You're making this very dangerous. There, yeah. You can. Is that your way of asking me to stop? You're licking. You want to kiss me? You want to kiss it? Kisses? You know what kisses are? Are you smelling my breath through my mask? Oh my gosh. Are you hearing yourself in the lobby? Is that what you're doing? You hear me in the lobby. Okay, okay, I get you. I got you. We'll be here for hours doing this. Hours. She's watching herself over there.
Don't lick it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Reminding myself, I want to remind you to breathe. Please come here. Look at that. It was in her eyeball. Eyeball area. Okay. We're going to try the bubble tip scissors. All right. We're at the very last bit of your face. Okay. Okay. Good girl. I want to say good girl. Good girl. Did she attack yet? No. Let's say good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Today, this time, Mary, it took a, a lot of effort on the face. Let me get that out. Let me get it out. I don't want it over there either. The 
The problem with trying to just trust scissors on the face is that on Shih Tzu's, there's lots of rolls and wrinkles that might happen around the nose, whether the dog's old or young. And when you use scissors and you're working with a dog that's moving a lot, you might grab one, you might cut it. So scissors seem like a better option to keep her calm down because all the tools I was using, even my quietest clipper, weren't working. But using scissors is always more dangerous because when you take that swipe, you can't pull back from it. You took it. You already took the swipe. So whatever was be in between the scissors, it's, it's gone. So that's the thing about taking scissors versus clippers. I know y'all have the answers for me. It's okay. Clippers might be safer. Everyone, if you don't have a flea comb, come get one at myfavoritecomer.com. I don't use it necessarily for fleas. I definitely use it for face cleaning. Especially in the bath. mouth would you mind? Don't lick it back in. Let me get it, man. Let me get that out of your mouth first. Don't keep looking away. The more you look away, the harder it is for me to trim it. I've got my fingers tucked back. Do you not think she could bite my fingers? Absolutely. I'll make sure there's no skin there. I can't see. I, I need to be using clippers. No, no. Okay. Easy peasy. Bring it back down. I've got my hand in between the groom loop and her throat so I can control the movement of her head a little bit. Say good girl. Good girl got caught on I caught caught over right there. Oh, oh, oh! Darn, I almost had it. No, no. Steady. Here. Here. Steady. Right there. Let's go here. No. Better tuck those fingers back. far back as I think you can look. I don't know. I can't I can't help you with that. Gosh. Woo! She really worked in my hand here.
coming back there, girlfriend. I mean, you have already covered that subject. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Okay, and now, now you're going to start doing that like you're going to fall asleep now? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm? Are you going to fall asleep on me? Hmm? Don't fall asleep, okay? Don't fall asleep on me. We're not completely done yet. We're almost done. You could bite me right now. Chunk out of my arm. I think we're good. I'm good. That parent, is this okay? Is this okay? I think I spent 40 minutes on the face alone. Is this okay, pet parent? We're gonna go to the bath. I will see you guys later. Thanks for following, sharing, liking, subbing. I hope you guys are happy. Thanks for those flowers, roses, heart. Love you. Love you, TikTok. We'll see you on the next live feed. Make sure you sub. Follow so you can catch it. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, thanks a lot for being here. Thanks for your donations. I saw some 20s. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Thanks for your donations. I appreciate you. And we will see you on the next live feed. Check us out at My Favorite Groomer on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and we will see you there. I hope you had a great time watching. Thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you. See you later. Bye, guys. Love you. See you later. All right, guys, YouTube, I love you guys. Facebook, love you, man, um, men and women. All right, we are going to the bath. Men, I might reevaluate some of this stuff, give her a little break from the grooming.